at James Monroe Elementary School in Everett, Washington, and um, this this amazing dragon was behind my back while I was doing the presentation, and so I'm just going to follow his remarkable body. Um, that's all all um, illustrated by the kids. Feel all of the look at the patterns that these kids used. So the kids all jointly together built this wonderful dragon. And you know, for some reason, when I think of the Northwest, I, I kind of think about dragons. And so maybe there's one living in Mount Rainier or something. Is, is there a legend about um, the dragons in the Cascades or something? I don't know, or the Olympic Range. But the colors are so great, and the kids were wonderful. I got to talk to a whole group of fourth and fifth graders, and it was just great. And so. It's like a road, isn't it? This, the body of this dragon. And I'm so happy to see it. I'm glad it's not far breathing. It might get upset with me. Isn't this just amazing? It's it's just I don't know. I love all the all the colors. And here we go. Almost up to the tail. Almost, almost, almost. All the way around. And look! The very tip of the tail looks like a big slice of watermelon. Yum! Here I am at Mill Creek Elementary. I just finished my presentation to all the fourth and fifth graders. And one of the kids brought me this wonderful, wonderful flower. So I'm going to take it back to my hotel room and keep it with me the whole rest of the time I'm in Seattle. So thank you, Mill Creek Elementary. I'm standing in the driveway of the little school. I just want you to get a, an idea of what this school is like. It's, it's a school that's literally in the forest. and. Um, you can see the kids over here. There's a there's a huge playground back over here behind the, the enormous trees. Look at these trees. I'm just going to scan up. They just keep going up, 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 up. I almost have to lie on my back to get get the up to the top. This so the kids are are here in this wonderful forest with this amazing school that I wish every single kid in the world could attend. So there we go, the little school in Seattle. Bye. This is Marlene Friend, who is the librarian here at Adams Elementary School, and she has introduced me to Bamboo, who is her cockatiel, and um, Bamboo is visiting for the day, so this is like a bonus to get to meet Bamboo. Is, isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh, she's lovely. She's so pretty. Show yourself off. Now tell us about Bamboo, Marlene. Um, Bamboo is a cockatiel. She was a rescue bird. I got her when she was five years old. And she is sweet as can be. Her original name was Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. But oh, Bamboo is a much better name. Yeah. I named her Bamboo because when I came back from Japan, she became my bird, and I thought she should have a name. So it's a uh, just to celebrate Japan. Aww, Bamboo, you're so beautiful. You say you don't want to talk to you. Does she talk? No, she just makes noise. <laughs> she just likes she's to feeling like she's she's being shy girl. Yeah, she likes to be scratched under her chin. No, Marlene, thanks for sharing Bamboo with us. Thank you, Bamboo. Thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> walked in to Cedar Way Elementary and right on my left as I walked in is this incredible uh, tile mosaic mural and it's it's just astonishing and what is so great about it is that 
all of the figures are from picture books and so um, it's just great there's Sylvester down there with his pebble and you, you can see George and Martha uh, frog and toad just incredible <laughs> it's amazing there's some wild things look at those wild things aren't they great look at those expressions there's another one I love the expression on that wild thing <laughs> We've got we've got bears and ducks and all of all of the famous um, picture book characters are represented here. I just love it. There's Ferdinand. <laughs> there's there's a uh, George, Curious George, uh, Babar. We've got they're they're just it, this is just such a great uh, mural and and the fact that it's right here by the front door just makes me so happy. It's like, it's almost like walking into picture book land, picture bookville or whatever. It's really so great. And how wonderful for the kids to, and it looks like it was probably, probably made by kids. Um, I don't know that for sure. I'll have to ask the librarian, but um, here we go. Wizard of Oz. There's the lion. <laughs> oh, I love that lion. So here's Charlotte. You can see that, that she's woven some pig into, into her web there. And there's the pig. There's some pig, Wilbur. <laughs> oh, my. This is really great. I'm, I'm getting to the end here. And, um, gosh, I, I would love to have a mural like this in my house, actually. Um, it just makes me so, so happy. So there you go. Cedar Way Elementary and their wonderful mural. I am at the Soundview School and um, I wanted to show you the portraits that the second graders have done. They're called personality portraits and I love this explanation here. When art meets poem, imagination sparks. And these portraits are brightly colored in with dry pastels. Students practiced, struggled, invented throughout the creative process. I love that. The, uh, with emphasis on struggled, invented, practiced. How wonderful. And now take a look at some of these um, wonderful self-portraits. Pa uh, personality portraits is what they're called by the second graders. I'm going to back up so you can get a better view. Um, oh, aren't they fantastic? It's hard to believe second graders doing this in pastel. Pastel is such a uh, a tough um, media to use. Medium to use. It's it's so um, flaky. To, at least to me is. And of course it's so messy. Look at this one. Lots of color. Lots of big strokes. You know, stroke over color over color. It's and look look down here. A broken heart. Can you believe that? That's second grade. How amazing. Look at this one, so so um, poignant, I think. And here's another one. They're just so um, full of vibrancy, so full of life, so so just um, beautiful, I think. I love these. And here's one. This one's so different. It's almost like a non-human, I think. Um, but and, and I love the green and the big. Eyes. It looks looks almost kind of snakeish, and especially with a thin neck like that. Um, very cool. Very very cool. It's just I'm just always surprised by what kids can do if you just give them an opportunity. So just a couple more. I think it's worth taking a look at these incredible pictures. These personality portraits. Isn't that a great name too? Personality portraits. Look at this one. Lots of color there. <laughs> and here's the last one. So sweet. Look at this little sweet face. I bet the I bet the real face is just as sweet. Okay. Soundview School signing off.